Fossils preserved in amber represent a major field of research for a great many scientists. For example, entomologists Dr. George Ponar and Roberta Ponar, both from the University of California at Berkeley, have carried out highly detailed studies of fossils preserved in amber in various parts of the world, particularly those in the Dominican Republic. For their book, The Amber Forest, they brought together hundreds of fossils aged between 45 and 15 million years. Fossilized specimens of many living things trapped in the act of carrying food back to the nest, in a state of defense, attempting to camouflage themselves, or defend their young, or releasing chemical substances in order to neutralize predators, have all been preserved and now displayed in amber. Like other fossils, these ones preserved in amber demonstrate one very significant fact. Living things have remained unchanged for millions of years. In other words, they never underwent evolution. Tens of thousands of fossils preserved in amber show that since the very earliest times, termites have always remained termites. Ants have always been ants, frogs have always been frogs, grasshoppers have always been grasshoppers, and moths have always been moths, and that none of them has ever changed.
As you know, the theory of evolution maintains that millions of years ago, the Earth must have been entirely populated by primitive life forms. Yet fossils tell us the exact opposite. As you have seen throughout the course of this film, living things that existed hundreds of millions of years ago are right before our eyes today. And contrary to what evolutionists claim, they are not primitive at all. Fossils document the fact that even in the very earliest times, there existed living things with exceptionally superior features and highly developed and complex structures. When the evidence preserved in the fossil record is examined in detail, we can see creatures whose body structures, organs, and skeletons are identical, right down to the smallest detail, to specimens alive today. This fact, of course, completely undermines all the myths and scenarios suggested by the theory of evolution. Because what it means is that over the course of millions of years, no supposed evolutionary process from the primitive to the most advanced ever actually happened. <laughs>